Hi, welcome to the Smosh Cast. I'm Shane Top. And I'm Amanda Lee Hand Kento. And we are here with our wonderful guest, Jackie Uwe. Hey. Woo. Hey. What's up, girl? I'm so excited to be here. This uh, is fun. This is mood. The mood lighting is different. I know. It's, it's bright. We're not in our uh, <laughs> apartments. I know. I know. It's a very different vibe. Yeah. Amanda never experienced that that vibe. No, uh, I didn't. Too bad. Thank too God. bad. Uh, this episode's a little different than than the past couple. Uh, I found out recently that, Amanda, you do tarot readings. Yes. So I pull tarot for, genuinely for myself, like I'll do morning cards. Mm -hmm. But over COVID, I actually was like pulling for friends for fun, even on Zoom or like after COVID, I would do it in person. And it was like, I was like, oh, I'm kind of just in love with this. You're also, I'm kind of good at this. (laughs) Well, I mean, Maybe. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, I've I've been pulling tarot for probably three years. Wow. My really good friend, Dunya, who's incredible, mm-hmm. um, has been pulling tarot for a while, and she kind of got me into it. And I was like, I don't know about this, because like, I've never been to a psychic before, oh, okay. and I'm a oh. bit of like, I don't know about this. And then when I started pulling tarot, I was like, oh, this is just something that is in your mind, you know, subconsciously, and you pull and you go, Oh, that's what that thought is. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It just helped me understand things, put things into words. Interesting, because yeah. I, I was, I am definitely a skeptical person. Yeah, I'm not an active believer yeah. in a lot of things like this, but I am also very open to like the possibility of stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, mm-hmm. I do believe in like. There's so much going on in my head that I don't know what's what that is. Yeah. So it's kind of like uh, when you flip a penny to make a decision and then it lands on the opposite thing of what you wanted and that's how you figure out what you want. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of that vibe. So, uh, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Um, and then the tarot cards can like give you a sense with like actual written words in there and you're like, oh, and then you have the whole day, especially if you do morning pull, which is just like one card. Mm-hmm. It's it's like morning pages, but it's like, then you have the whole day to be like, oh, oh, I see. Okay. It's really fun. Have you ever had your cards pulled, Jackie? <laughs> Jackie, have you ever done Jackie, this before? Have you ever I, had tarot? I have had tarot done before. Um, I do want to say I'm not a skeptic, but like uh, the way I was raised, just with like African like like my, my culture, uh, we really respect witchcraft because it is on and popping. Mm. So like I am also like very like respectful of tarot, where I'm like, oh, I don't like live by it, but I'm like, very, I'm like. Nah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I have had my car- cards pulled before. I had them pulled on the Smosh Pit channel, uh, which yes. is very fun. It, the <laughs> she said I needed to spend more time with animals. And then my first cat showed up that night. Uh, the lights went out, my cat showed up, and my life was changed. Um, and then I also, Dude. mm-hmm. That's in, see, that to me right. is like, <laughs> yeah. that to me is where tarot gets like really kind of cool, because you're yeah. like, um, universal things just happened. Yeah, it was it was super wild because I've never had a pet before, and then she just like literally showed up that that night. Um, but we also made the joke of like, oh, like the I think her name Emma. I want to say her name is Emma or no Irma. Um, the the tarot reader that the tarot reader that we brought in, we were making a joke like she was probably outside my house just throwing cats. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's throwing cats. She on needs the block. to believe in yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, I have had the pleasure of having Amanda pull my cards. Yes, you have. I have. It was, what, the last day of VidCon? It was the last day of VidCon mm-hmm. in my hotel room. Yes, and the vibes were right. Like, there was, like, background music playing. I think Harry Potter was on the TV. Uh, <laughs> it was background music playing. It was, like, TNT. TBS was on, and she pulled, like, the best, like, coolest reading ever, uh, and it meant so much to me. Did she cry? I don't know. <laughs> and when I say she, Who knows? Me, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nobody knows. Uh, but it was great, and uh, I just think you're really great at it. And so I Thank just you. felt very, like, privileged to have that done, especially, like, after such a long weekend. So yeah. It was, it was really cool. It was an amazing thing to do for you after a long weekend of VidCon mm-hmm. where we were, like, chilling, about to go home, like, so much extrovertedness. And then I pulled your cards and it was like, vroom. Mm-hmm. Like we just zoomed in mm-hmm. and you were like, oh shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that was really special because I I didn't know what you were thinking. I didn't know the question that you asked. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool to like go on that journey with you. Yeah. And I think that's the thing with tarot is like things just come to light where you're like, mm-hmm. okay, I'll listen to that. Yeah. You there's, know? There's like right. a million things to think about every single day. So like even having like a little like 
push in the right direct or a direction, right? Not even the right direction, a direction yes. I think is really cool. Yeah, I think that's my mindset on it is even if you're not a believer in anything spiritual, it's a nice like mindful exercise mm-hmm. to yeah. do because it focuses in your thing. And when, often when you're told a statement of like, oh, you think this way, if it's wrong, that's still helpful because it kind of makes you think about what you actually think about stuff. Yeah. How you actually feel about the world. And uh, I, so I have actually gone to a psychic. And, uh, and I'm And I, when I went and did it, I was very much like not a believer in it. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm still not like an active believer in it. But uh, I went and I remember doing it and I remember walking away and feeling really good. It's mm-hmm. kind of that, just, just feeling focused, feeling kind of zen. Cause for, for an hour you're sitting there and someone is, telling you things about yourself and some things do ring very true right. and so and it, it it does make you very introspective in a great way mm-hmm. and uh it, it was like dare i say enlightening mm. uh it was an enlightening experience i didn't walk away going oh oh i, know I believe future. in psychics <laughs> right, right. but i did walk away going i'm uh, that was worth the money that i paid and yeah. i i enjoyed that and mm. would i go again yeah like and uh but you know like myself, I'm sure many people are viewing are not like active believers in that. Th- that's okay. Like yeah. we're not yeah. trying to con- we're not trying to convince you of anything. No. This is something that's important to you. Exactly. This is just this is something that has helped me personally. That's why like I don't pull tarot for people and you know do a business or anything. It's genuinely just for me. It's for me and my friends to pull for each other, and I think it's totally okay to be a skeptic like and unsure about it because. Yeah. I think whatever works for you, whatever helps you find enlightenment or figure out what the fuck is going on is good for you. Like, you should do that. And for me, it was tarot because I am a verbal processor and I really loved, like, understanding what was going on. Also, what I like about tarot is it doesn't tell you your future, right? It doesn't – it's not like you're going to die in seven days. It's not the ring. But it's like (laughs) – that's why – I, and I still am afraid to go to a psychic, and I have not gotten my cards read by a professional that I don't know yet. Interesting. I've gotten my cards read by my friend Dunya, who's incredibly connected, just an amazing person, also has such a great heart, and she has really helped me figure out what the cards mean. I'm like, okay, I don't really understand this card, and she like talks to me about it. Mm-hmm. So. For me, I still have my skepticism. Like, I'm still right. afraid of specific things. Yeah. But I think genuinely it's just like what works for you doesn't always work for everybody else. Yeah. Right. You know? Absolutely. I will say there's nothing funnier to me than, uh, like, psychics who are clearly frauds. Because <laughs> oh. those do exist. Do you remember that one? There was one who was on a talk show forever ago. This is messed up. But there's a clip of this online where these parents, it's on like a, it's like a, a Maury or a Dr. Phil type of show. <laughs> Naturally. And it's, Naturally. This, it's this old 60-year-old 60, 60 blonde woman. Her hair is fried. She, her, she's she got Can't. just insane makeup on. and uh, She's got cats for this, sure. Oh, 50. <laughs> but these parents whose son had been missing came to the show and they're like, where is our son? Ooh. Like, where, where is our son? And she tells them face to face. She's like, your son is dead. Oh. The son was then found like a week or two later. Dude. And it's like, dude, come on. Those, like, those... At least be a better fake. Yeah. Be like, be like I, I'm, um, it's cloudy. A I don't bed. know. Yeah. <laughs> Not a, a yeah. riverbed. Well, you know those psychics that they bring on for murders? It's like they give them all the crime scene photos. And they're like, they're by a river. And there's. <laughs> they were probably. Kidnapped There's and rocks. murdered. I, they're calling me from the dead. And you're like, dude. Yeah. Sorry, you you just know how crime works. Right, right. <laughs> Fingerprints were found at the scene. <laughs> On a rock. And the detectives are like, and the parents are like, thank you. <laughs> oh but gosh. I get it when you're a parent, like, oh my God, if your Look. child is missing, you're... You'll ask anything. I would literally do anything. Mm, smoke signals, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shall we introduce? We shall. Let's start. Okay, so here's here's the thing. There's there's like a thing that is told with tarot that you're not supposed to buy your own deck. I've heard this before. Mm-hmm. This deck was gifted to me by Dunya, who's incredible. Okay. But I have bought my own deck, and I researched it, and it's one of my favorite decks. So I can't say if that's true, if. If if people like in the comments, if you guys totally believe that, that's that's really cool. I think you should live by that. But I have actually decided, like, oh, I'm gonna buy my own deck. I think it gives me more of like mm-hmm. a magical or more of connected mm-hmm. feeling to sure. it. So, anyways, 
This was gifted to me. It's called the Witch's Wisdom Tarot. It's the tarot that I read for you. Yeah, yeah. Have not read for you yet. Okay. Um, it's so cool. So you can. They have an Instagram, which is amazing. Um, their Instagram. We'll we'll link it below. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's Witch's Wisdom Tarot. Um, on Instagram, and like Phyllis Karat does the writing, and Danielle Barlow does the art of it. Mm. And what's cool about this deck specifically is that. So tarot uses um, the suits, right? Swords, wands, pentacles, cups. Those are all different meanings. And then those are the minor arcana. And then the major arcana is like more of life themes, right? So like the star, the moon, the fool. And when you say arcana, what does arcana mean for Shane? Not for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> us, <laughs> us who've been playing D&D. Well, Arcana is your magic intelligence. Shit. Arcana, Shit. Arcana to me specifically. Remember, this is all specific to my yeah. taking of this. Arcana is like magic, like everyday magic, uh, everyday spirituality, everyday like connection to the other uh, world. Yeah, the unseen. Okay. Trust. Okay. The universe. You got that, Shane? I, I got it. That's to me. I do believe, okay, and, and and to be clear, I believe there is more stuff in the world that I do not understand than mm. I understand. So that is. Exactly. And that can be called magic. That's, exactly. that's just the unknown. Mm. That's, that's kind of what so this is. So a major arcana, like the fool, the star, all these cards are more life themes for you. Mm. And the minor arcana with suits can be like, oh, this is a theme for you today or, oh. or yesterday okay. or this week or this month. What's cool about this is they, um, it's called the Witch's Wisdom, so they use earth, air, fire, water instead of suits, which is like Badass. pretty cool. They, they, they believe that tarot, they believe that you can find, so the original tarot decks believe that enlightenment is when you're like left, you know, on another plane, like mm. you, you have to leave earth. They Avatar's believe that, there. yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. Avatar. <laughs> Sorry. They believe that enlightenment. <laughs> no, it's it's. I feel like tarot can be whatever you want it to be. They believe that enlightenment can be found right here on oh. Earth in nature in our bodies. Okay. Cool. Which I actually love. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. It Look at this cool. So I, there's like this linen little um, bag that it comes in, which feels very special. Love it. Love it. The box is special. Love Everything the vibe. The box is so special. There's a little fox in the inner. <laughs> oh. Look, how cute. Shane, that's you. For those of you just listening <laughs> to the podcast, there's a little fox. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I don't know that if you That was can, a perfect description. Get this. There's a little fox. There's a little fox. There's a little fox. Shane, that's you hiding behind the trees wondering what are those witches doing? <laughs> um, okay, so I feel like today we're going to do three cards each. Okay. Mm -hmm. And with three cards, you can really do anything. Um, it always feels very full circle to me. Mm -hmm. We're going to do past, present, future. Great. Great. So I'm going to shuffle this, which might get annoying for the mics. Or maybe it'll be <laughs> ASMR. Ooh, ASMR. Oh, ASMR. get out. Shuffle, 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 tarot, tarot, tarot. Guys, ASMR is pretty sick. There's probably so many traditions to tarot, I'm, I'm guessing. Kind of like you can't buy your own deck. I'm sure there's just tons of things of like, don't bend the cards. Exactly. Don't. don't don't shuffle them this way. There's also like, oh, sage them after you pull for someone. Interesting. I feel like there's a lot of different things, which just makes it fun. Like some people are like, when you first get a deck, leave it out in the moonlight to charge. Like there's all this stuff. I think I saged it. I don't really have moonlight that enters my apartment. <laughs> I ain't got access to the moon. Sorry. I wish I had. I wish I had a moonlight just coming in so I could charge my phone. It would be sick. Oh, someone somewhere is, set, is selling portable moon chargers. Right. I know oh, it. Yes. absolutely. I know it. And if not, you're welcome. I yeah. love that. I I think charging your stuff in the moonlight, if you can, if you don't have a small apartment, I think that you should go for it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It can't hurt. The moon is very special. <laughs> it really is. It's really cool. They yeah. definitely, definitely believe in the moon in this deck. Like the moon, like changes your feelings. You can go through different cycles. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna pull me first. Okay, go ahead. Right and yeah, yeah. Sometimes how I do this is I'll like spread it out and then pull from that, or I'll do numbers. Oh, okay. Like you can, I'll I'll go through the deck and count off numbers. For me, like maybe I like woke up with like the number five. That's just also my favorite number. Or I'll do like 
when I had my wedding, I was doing numbers of my wedding, and I was pulling the same cards all the time, <gasps> which was tens, which is our completion cards. Ooh. And it was like celebration, marriage, wedding. I was like, okay. Wow. Okay, universe. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I'll pull the same card like every day. Oh, my gosh. And this is after you shuffle. Yeah. Oh, spooky. So no, wait, what's magic. today's date? Today. Uh, oh, what doesn't matter because this is going to well, be. Well, that's that's fine. So uh, <laughs> we're recording this. Um, it's, guess what? It's the fifth. So we're recording this kind of early. It's the fifth. Um, trying to get ahead on some of these podcasts. Um, Ooh, well, fifth is my favorite number. It is the fifth as of recording. You know what? This. Let's just do five, five, and five. Great. So I'm gonna count three, four, four. five. So I have the whole deck in front of me, and I'm just counting f- fives. So you're, you're dropping four cards, and then the fifth card is the one that you pull. Oh. Yep, okay. and I'm setting them up in order. Into three. So the first one is my past, the middle one is the present, and the third one is my future. Great. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. I have all three cards laid out. And again, you can like spread them out and pull from that. Okay. It depends on whatever you guys want to do. Okay. Okay. So with past, present, future, I usually like to flip them over one at a time mm-hmm. just because sometimes I... Suspense. Yeah, like, it's too yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, also with this deck, another tarot thing is some tarot decks do reversals. Mm-hmm. So if you flip it and it's upside down. Like Uno. There's another. <laughs> Dead Reverse. Oh, uh, I got to draw another uh, card. Skip two. Skip two. <laughs> oh, who put a plus four oh, right here? Oh, who put the wild? <laughs> God <laughs> dang it. I guess I'll make my own rule. How, how was tarot? I lost. <laughs> um, I got a wild lose? card, so I guess it was choose your own adventure. <laughs> and blue fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing all this cocaine i got a wild card i can do whatever today <laughs> that's what the tarot lady said um yeah basically tarot can be whatever you want it to be you can play with uno i'm just kidding um so the first card is my past so how i see my past or whatever i need to remember about that so this deck does not do reversals okay. they just chill that's but true, yeah, yeah. reversals are usually inner like that's an inner thing that you're thinking about and uh up upright is that's like outer world is affecting you. Interesting. So reversals is really inner. Uh, the, upright is the, outer. The tarot reading I got had reversals because there was a card that oh. was upside down and she was like, oh, that's upside down. That probably means something. <laughs> and I remember at the time being like, oh yeah, I can see why, why yeah. that's that way. Yeah. Yeah. There's specific meanings for it, but sometimes if you just look at it and you don't have like a book that says all the meanings, you can just think that that's like an inner thing. Mm. Okay. Okay, so my first card, ooh, okay. Whoa. I got a 20, which is a major arcana. So if they're numbers, there's no suits here. Mm. So there's no earth, wind, water, fire. And it's the priestess. Okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, Hello. Does, do, do I look like the priestess? Um, I was, <laughs> Jackie, I was literally going to say, is this you on my card? Uh, uh, you're not watching the video version? Okay. Uh, I look like the priestess out in these streets. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the priestess is in the garden by the moonlight, getting charged up. Your past literally, is Jackie. Your present is Jackie. Your future is Jackie. Jackie. It's kind of amazing because the past card is the priestess, and she's standing in between like this river, this little water from a well. And on the right side is roses. On the left side is white roses. She's got a little cute frog, and she's just. Are you? Is that a drum? Is that a... Um, hey, it's whatever I want it to be. And look at that dress. <laughs> and you have half moons on it. Oh. And you're holding your chest. Like, and there's <gasps> a full moon behind her. A full moon behind her. That's charged a up. stunning card. <laughs> Fully charged. charged <laughs> up, okay, so I guess priestess is my past, which could mean <laughs> I was a priestess back in the day, or the vibe of priestess is me. So to, since we're a little bit low on time, and also like if you want this... If you want this deck, there's a full reading on exactly what the priestess is. But I'm going to read the essence of the card and the counsel that it gives me. Great. So the priestess is a major arcana. So this was like a major life theme for me in the past. The essence of this is women's mysteries. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) Jackie? (laughs) Jackie (laughs) Uwe. Okay, mysteries in between. This is insane that it says in between because my best friend just released a single called In Between and we've been talking about it, which is just like this kind of gray area where you're like, I don't know what's going on, but it feels good. It feels sad, but it also feels like kind of cool. And it's the in between. I don't know. So self-knowledge, magic, manifestation, wisdom, prophecy, destiny, spiritual leadership, sacred sight. 
Okay, so that's the essence of this card. Basically, Jackie Uwe. Your <laughs> counsel is, when you encounter the priestess, she will ask you, what do you want to know? Think carefully about your answer. What do you really need to know to create the future that you long for? The priestess points to your heart. The answer you're seeking is already within. Honor all that's brought to you to, the, to this moment of self-awareness with love, compassion, and acceptance. The future is unfolding like a red rose blooming in the moonlight. Your magic is returning. Ooh. Okay, this is pretty... This actually this actually means kind of a lot to me. Um, like, kind of embracing my womanhood, embracing, mm -hmm. like, this part about me. Definitely, like, some things going on with me, like, womanly-like. Mm -hmm. Not pregnant. Don't think... Don't worry about that. <laughs> but, like, I just got married. Like, I'm embracing, like my womanhood, menstrual, everything. And I feel like this card is kind of that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Your magic is returning. <laughs> okay, pretty sick. That's my past. Hey, what okay. do you guys think about that? Um, I, well, the... Uh, I was like, I always first of all, it's Jackie Way. It, it, yeah. first of all, I, as a priestess, I was like, I was like, I do be walking up to people. I'm like, so like, what's your passion? <laughs> like, like, what are you, like, what's what your passion? You what are your dreams? Like, this also could be kind of connected to you right now too. <laughs> That you're here. Um, no, wait. It says, but that's your past. That's your past. So, so this is my past. It could, but it's also a major life theme. Right. Okay. okay. So it's a past that could be like still lingering with me. But it's also okay. like, could be like months ago, which is very much when I experienced like a new kind of lease on like womanhood. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's yeah. Awesome. That's so, a good one. That's a really good one. How high do the numbers go? So in this, I didn't know they went up to twenty. I thought they went up to ten. Forever. No, yeah, no. Go, so I the got suits, a thousand fifty once. So the suits go up to ten. Okay. The 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 minor arcana, the suits, the earth, water, air, fire. The major arcana goes up to twenty one. Okay. Technically twenty, and then the pilgrim you get black slash the fool, <laughs> and then you get the wild card or reverse. <laughs> go back to the start. But the no, it goes up to twenty one, and then. It also, it goes from zero to 21 because zero is the fool, mm. which is in this one, it's the pilgrim, mm. which is like the fool is basically like a, a guy jumping off the cliff with like a little dog and he has got like a little like thing of travel. And it's like, here we go. So if I get that card, it's like, you're a dumbass. No. <laughs> Sorry. You're a, uh, we got the total loser card. Yeah, exactly. It's more of like your inner child. Okay. But also, yeah, for you, maybe it might be dumbass. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Now it's time to choose my second card, which is the middle card, which is my present mm. card. Ooh. Okay, I've never pulled this card before. It's a six of water. So water is a minor arcana, one of the suits. Um, so water also has a very specific meaning. So what I'm seeing is, what is that? A duck? Is that, I thought it was is it a, a turtle? turtle? That is not a turtle, y'all. Here, can I see? That is like a duck oh. with a beak. Oh. Uh, Mallard? Yeah, that's like, oh, I forget <laughs> what they call them, but they're, they're yeah, they're. Yeah, what is um, that? Oh. It's not a loon, is it? No. But it's a, it's a it's like a lake. It's like a bird that chills in a lake and swims okay, around so like a duck. Like it's a mallard? bird that chills in a lake like a duck. Like a mallard. And it'll actually probably tell me when I pull to it. And it's yeah, yeah. swimming, ducking down, and about to eat a fish. Yeah, yeah. So this is six of water. So remember, they're one through ten, or mm -hmm. ace through ten. And this one is, I'm oh, sorry, one through ten. And this one is, no, 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 it's ace. Ace through ten is the one. So this is six. So this is like kind of middle. Five and seven can be kind of intense numbers. Six is like a bit more of a relief. Um, water is emotions, heart, mm -hmm. love, and dreams. This is my present. Wow. Okay. 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 But does it say what that bird is? <laughs> yes. That's the real yes. question. Yes. What if, it, what if the reading is like, we For have shame. no idea what the f*** this thing is. This is bird that chills on lake. <laughs> <laughs> this is mallard. We think mallard. 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 AKA a cormorant. Oh, oh that was my second. Cormorant. You guys know yeah, what that yeah, is? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. So this is a cormorant, and it's plunging into a darting school of fish. Okay. The water, the seabird's feathers, the fish's scales, bubbles up, bubbles of rising air and unexpected light, all glisten, sparkle, and move. Ooh. Okay. So the essence of this card is dive deep. Let go, go with the flow, unexpected change. Okay, that's pretty f***ed up because I actually pulled a card 
and it was all about like you are very comfortable right now, oh. but change is a coming. Oh I pulled a card is... this uh, this morning, like a morning card, because instead of doing morning pages, I will just pull. It saves a lot of time. Starts, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this saves card is confirming that. So this card more. is literally confirming that. And the council. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jackie's phone fell. I, I, no, I'm sorry. I just shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was just so crazy. It's Something's okay. coming. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> so just so you all know who can't hear us or who can't see us, Jackie shit her pants. Okay. The council for this is you cannot redirect the river of life. Instead, plunge in, surrender to it, dissolve in it, allow the molecules of your expectations, plans, and intentions to mix with the waters flowing all around you. Let go and let your heart become a vessel of understanding. Let it hold the memories of your life. To remember, you must allow the waters of life to th flow through you. Begin now. Fill the waters of your life with stories before the cormorant <laughs> mm. appears. Oh, so you're the fish. You're the fish. I'm the fish, which is crazy because fish don't know that they're swimming in water. So they I know. no, they never experience anything else. They don't so know that they're just... swimming in water until you hook them with a fishing line, and then they're like, "What the f is this?" <laughs> they come back and they're like, "Do you know we're in water?" <laughs> Bro, hey, dude, do you know you're in water? There. Okay, Mike, you're crazy. Get oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's a big ass cormorant. What is it? So <laughs> basically, the cormorant. <laughs> I'm probably saying this wrong, is the unexpected change. Yeah. And as a fish, you just have to surrender to the tides and where water and life is flowing. So basically, let go, go with it, and a cormorant is about to come up and snatch me to a new place. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to go to a fishbowl. Dude, you're Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm not Dory. Yeah. Actually, I looked... Where am I? <laughs> that story not I? accepting. She's just like literally lost. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to pull my third card. So I got major arcana and a minor arcana of water. And my third card is my future card. So this could be like tomorrow or like a year down. A year. Ooh. Okay, so I got it upside down, but I'm going to turn it back because that's. Whoa. Oh, my God. So it is a major arcana, number 21, the last one. Council of all beings. Girl. Wow. I don't know what that means, but it seems big. So You're going on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> there God, is a whale no. on that card. Are you guys cruise people? I, I have. Want, I've never. I've never been on. A I want to go on one one time, mm. but I, it has to be like with the right n group of people. Yeah, I, I don't know. It is not for me. You been on one? Um. Yes, I have. Oh. I went to. It. I went to Alaska. I felt trapped. Mm. Genuinely, and the food made me like. I had a brick in my stomach. Oh. We were all like, where's the laxatives? <laughs> that was basically it. Oh, okay. So if you guys have a Rider, Rider Weight Tarot deck, which is like the original deck, it this card that I pulled, Council of All Beings, is the Judgment card. Aye. Okay? So it's the Judgment card. So this is my future card. <laughs> Sounds pretty fun already. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm like, the whale ate the cormorant. Cormorant? Cormorant. 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 It's inside the whale. Okay, so this is what this <laughs> card looks like. Ooh, it's like a starry night, the tree of life. We got some cute animals. We got a giraffe in the background, a bear, a hawk, a lion, and then a whale underneath. You guys want to pass around the yeah. card? Okay, so council of all beings. The essence of this card Urgency, summoning, connection, community, maturity, readiness, reverence, kindness. Okay. So the middle, so the, okay, so this is like, okay, so the first card is all about like feeling the spirituality, like the magic in my womanhood. The second card is about like let go, release, surrender. And the third card is about a connection, maturity, readiness and community mm. the first this is the council the first thing magic the first thing magic changes is you mm. okay. it's time to attend to the so maybe this is the change it was talking about right yeah. it's time to attend to the magic within and around you pay attention to signs and synchronicities i see synchronicities all the time because they reveal the emerging pattern of your destiny Realms of spirit are open to you, and there are guides and allies who will help you. The teachers you are seeking know that magic isn't made with supernatural or willful manipulation of unseen forces. 
You won't find it in someone else's incan incantations or recipes. Open your heart and discover what real magic is. The, the power of divine love flowing into you and through you into the world. The council advises you that the future deepens on your ability to cultivate that love with yourself, with Mother Earth, and with all her peoples. Wow. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love this. This makes sense because it's like all the beings in one. So basically this... To me, this card is like, this is the change that's coming, mm -hmm. is understanding that everyone around you is all connected to like the magic that is in you. That's how I took it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? So, yeah, are, are you saying it's going to kind of be more of an internal change is coming? Like how you view things yes. will change. Mm -hmm. That's how and I your took connection, it. And your connection with people is about to uh, strengthen. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely about maturity and connection with people. So like letting go of old old beliefs that probably hold me back mm -hmm. or make me get kind of like spikes out at people. Like I feel like this is more about accepting and journeying into another path. Yeah. When you said the power of divine love flowing into you and through you into the world, I was like, well, that's Amanda. <laughs> I was like, Aww. I just feel like you have such... Well, not oh, my God. So yeah, uh, so Jackie's the past, Shane is the present, and <laughs> I'm the actual I'm future. I'm the hey. <laughs> No, you're the fish with me. You're Dory. Uh, I'm also a fish, <laughs> chilling. Uh, <laughs> you're the turtle. You're the surf turtle in Finding Nemo. <laughs> well, every single card is like, and you got the surf turtle again. <laughs> wow. The fifth. I didn't know there were five of them in Dude. this deck. That's so crazy. Are there bad cards and good cards? Are there cards that are like, this card is bad? Good question. There's no way for this to be good. I feel like there, I can't say that there are bad cards and good cards. There are more like warning cards. Yeah. Like something, like unexpected change, or you're like, you need rest, or you're trying mm. to do it all. Stay mm. indoors today. <laughs> yeah. Stay, there's no like, stay indoors, a tsunami's coming. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there is like, hey, watch out, a bird is coming to eat you up. Exactly. Or there is like, if you keep on this road, you are gonna exhaust yourself and uh, lose your way. Got it. Right. Or if you keep these old beliefs that are holding you back, you're gonna stay. You might not be able to find, go down the path. Yeah. They're more like warning cards. Okay. Depends on the deck, though, to be honest. Mm. This deck feels like I'm all witch and woman, which is, like, incredible. And I feel like we do need to focus on nature and the earth rather than, like, like that's what this card's about. It's, like, it's all within us. Mm -hmm. It's all around us. Like, use the resources that we have. But some decks are... Some decks are dark. Like okay. I have a pagan, I have a pagan deck, and it can be kind of dark. I don't want a dark deck. No. I kind of love it though. Dang. The one, okay. there's not like you're gonna die today. You're gonna die in seven days. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like first card. You hate your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, your parents. You hate them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a game, a gamer announcer. <laughs> okay, so those are my cards. Pretty. That was great. Pretty solid. Those are pretty like spiritually cool. Yeah. Yeah, that felt very you. Yeah, that felt very me. I mean, to be fair, if, if Jackie pulled the card that looked like Jackie, <laughs> I would be freaking out a little bit more. I'd be like, okay, that's uh, weird. That's wookie, wookie, wookie. I love it. Yes, yeah, so those feel very me. I would say certain numbers, like five and seven, can be mm -hmm. pretty. Those are like, stop. Like, whoa. Like, I, this is a warning. You are ignoring messages. Like, mm. oh. All right. Which is I'm crazy. Little, that makes me a little nervous. No, no. Well, it's specific to you, too. Okay. Yeah. It might be like Shane. You're too. You know. You're the turtle. <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> Find the, your way. You're I the guess. turtle, man. Yeah. How are you feeling, Jackie? I feel good. I mean, it's. The, I'm still thinking about your last card and like the future because even this, even learning that Amanda like pulls cards is like a new revelation. Mm -hmm. um, at least, I mean, we've we've been working. We got hired in the same month. Right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so it's been three almost, years. It's it'll be four years in November. Stop, bruh. Uh, but this what? is like the. I just found this out about Amanda, and I feel like slowly but surely, like Amanda is like opening up more. But she's also so loving at all. I don't not to get too deep into, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like like, th like this is something you're so passionate about, and finding this out was like so cool. I know. So it is like, I, I know. Just, I don't know. Thank I was, like, you. I get pretty. I realize that I like. I, I guess I get pretty protective or like yeah. I don't really open up about my personal life when I'm Which at is work okay. That's because a good thing. it helps me to like be professional sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But like I guess tarot has just always been a part of my life that when mm -hmm. I shared it with you guys, I was like, oh, wait, 
people are into this. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, sometimes people, like, they don't want, they don't want to talk about spirituality. They don't want you to feel like you're pushing something. But that's why I feel like tarot is so universal. It's Mm -hmm. like every card is is universal to you, like, and... It's yeah. something that I love to do, and, and as long as people are cool with it, I love I love sharing it. Yeah, I also wouldn't let anybody pull cards from me personally. Really? No. Oh, oh he- no. Well, I'm I own- honored. Oh no. no. I'm honored. So you wouldn't let Shane pull a card for you? Uh, <laughs> Shane could pull for me. There's some, look, there's some witches I know. Oh no, I am never coming to their full moon ceremonies. <laughs> no, sometimes <laughs> which is a lo- which is a loose term because sometimes Girl. you're like, um, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> there's some witches out here in LA. I, don't I feel know. like yeah, there's probably a lot of different Housebred. different kinds. Um, yeah, of that, that look, but I, I've I've learned through the internet that I'm like, oh, there's a huge community, and it is very different from what I grew up there assuming. Is. Yeah, and also I feel like I'm from I'm from Massachusetts, very close to Salem. Like I grew up in spooky Massachusetts with like fog over the ocean. Mm-hmm. Massachusetts is very witchy. Mm-hmm. Like it's that like makes, that makes sense. Old school like Salem <laughs> witch trials, but also like very witchy. Yeah. Okay, it, whoever can't see this, Jackie has gorgeous nails. Yeah, we're freaking we're freaking witches over here in Massachusetts. <laughs> we're wicked witches. We're Boston, we're Boston witches. <laughs> Wait, that should be a, a bar. Welcome to Wicked Witchy. <laughs> wicked Witch Trap. <laughs> you fucking loser. You fucking loser. It's all blood colored cuz we're witches. <laughs> Maybe there is. I mean, wicked. Hey, you pulled the uh, you pulled the seven of patriots. Oh, you got Tom Brady. <laughs> hey, you got tickets for me in your pocket. Give them up. That's what the card said. That's a uh, very Boston <laughs> seven of patriots. It's oh my god! I forget what his number is. A tarot 12. deck of all patriots players. Oh, that's fine. Y'all, that's probably a thing. Probably uh, a thing. The it's ideas probably we're thing. giving people today. Crazy. I love it. Okay, so. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Jackie is about to pull three cards. Mm -hmm. So go, like, think about your past. Think about old Jackie, past Jackie, and pull a card. Shane's not looking. I don't know why it's like intense. I'm now now thinking about my past. (laughs) Don't get your past all over my past. It's all going to be like Turtle Shane. (laughs) If there's a turtle in one of the ones I pull, I am going to be scared. I'm a skeptic, but I also am very easily, like... Yeah. Scared by stuff like that. Okay, now pull your present card. And your future card. And it doesn't matter how you pull. Sometimes I like to listen to music that's like on my mind when Mm -hmm. I pull or I think heavily about like good feelings. So it's all up to you. Okay. All right. Okay. So should I put these back? Change no, it. you can keep them out. Okay. So you can flip your first card, which okay. is your pass card. <laughs> that, okay, this that is my Jack- nervous giggle. Uh, <laughs> this is what, what Jackie was like when I was pulling her card. <laughs> okay, okay, kind of okay, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Roller coaster. Ooh, let me see. Craftsman of Air. Oh, okay, so that doesn't look like you. <laughs> no. You describe, you, you describe uh, what's on the card? It looks like a fucking nerd doing math. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'm a nerd. It looks like a freaking nerd, man. This is you in the past. You were a nerd in the past. Was I a white man in the past? You were a Ooh. white man. <laughs> Ooh, I could be like a philosopher. Ooh. Uh, a man of the stars. I love it. A physician. Okay. A phys- no, no, a physicist. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she definitely wasn't a nerd in the past. Let me see. Okay, so this is, oh, cool. Okay, so you're holding some cool designs. Um, <laughs> you're cool. This... You're, I mean, you're not cool, but you're holding cool stuff. <laughs> so you're you're a craftsman of air. Okay. So air, air is um, a minor arcana. It's one of the suits. It corresponds to intelligence, intuition, mm-hmm. language, and communication. So normally in the old deck, they would do king and queen. Okay. So craftsman in this deck is like, their version of king, even though they don't mm. do king or queens. Mm-hmm. So king like the behavior, top is goddess, <laughs> top is goddess, and right right next to the goddess is the craftsman. Okay. It doesn't mean it's masculine or feminine, that's just how they mark it down. Okay, so craftsman of air is your past. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Essence, study, hidden truths, divine expressions, and embodiments. Here's your counsel. Magic is more than special effects. It's more than formulas and incant- 
incantations. The, though those are useful in achieving self-mastery, magic will not grant you the power to control the world, but it may grant you the ability to understand it and yourself. And with understanding will come reverence, respect, and responsibility. A witch is a craftsman who knows that the first thing magic changes is oneself. Oh, okay. So this is kind of a complex card, might I say? Intelligent and intuit intuitive, instinctive and contemplative, the mind works best when it's open. Okay, the world will open for a craftsman who knows that nature doesn't require mastering once the mind has been mastered. Ooh. Okay, so this is kind of a complicated card. I've never pulled this card. What are you thinking? Uh, the, the way it seems complicated seems exactly like the thoughts in my head. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, some might say I'm a bit of an overthinker. Yes. And maybe I'm a bit of a control freak. Yes. I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Me thinks I'm freaking out right now. Yeah. I also think I'm like pretty, uh, I feel like I have a pretty strong intuition in general. Yes. Um, I don't think I'm connected by any means, but like I do have a really strong intuition. Um, so th some that's of the why words. I love pulling. That's why I love pulling people's cards because they are so unique to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, these can be seen as universal ideas, but specifically, like we pulled completely different past yeah. cards, and that's why I feel like this one's complicated because I don't relate to it at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong; I'm definitely a thinker, but like this seems like you think about everything. <laughs> In one, like in an instant. Yeah, girl. Oh, okay, girl, great. <laughs> the anxiety courses through my bones. <laughs> is this, this could be my present card. <laughs> no, this is your past card. It says, a witch is a craftsman who knows that the first thing magic changes is oneself. Wow. So this is a past card, but it's kind of leaning mm -hmm. towards your present that it's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah, formulas, all these things isn't the way towards magic. Yeah. It's 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 changing oneself, changing your idea. So maybe this is kind of trickling in. That's so honestly, that's super that's super wild because I've been working really hard the past like almost year now to like really uh look at my habits, patterns and the way like the things that like I do and like the rules I have mm. to like make my feel, myself feel safe. So like that's why it rings really true to me. Like I've been working a lot with like my, my therapist about this stuff. Oh nice. Obviously without getting too deep about it, but like this is like a very uh very accurate card for me. Oh amazing. Yeah, Dude. it's kind of wild. Maybe that means <laughs> maybe that means like it is something that you've been working on and it is a bit in the past. Yeah, I, I it Honestly, is like I've been. That's cool. Yeah, I, I've been trying to release a lot of control and just kind of like go with the flow. And um, I love that. I ask a lot of. I'm a, I ask a lot of questions. I've been trying to ask less questions and just kind of mm, like go with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are not a white man in his study anymore. Nah, man. I'm a black Sorry, girl. Sorry, Shane. I'm a black girl on the moon. It's okay. <laughs> My journey is to remain a white <laughs> a white man in his study. <laughs> a white man in his study. Okay, that is pull my journey. your so so the next card that you're gonna pull is your present okay. card. So remember that is like a fleeting, more um, not a major theme in your life, yes. but like minor. That's cool. wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Wait, you got, another, another, air card. I got another air card. It's a little porcupine. Look at this guy. Oh. So wait, you got another air card, mm -hmm. and look, the tree is all like split. What is this? Two the of the air? tree looks the tree looks like lungs. Two of air. <gasps> That's Ooh. so true. Okay, will you describe sorry, like sorry, sorry. the tree looks like lung? Yeah. No, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to jump. I, I, I'm Guys, sorry for putting my. Guys, don't say sorry. It's okay. I was putting my my oils on the card. <laughs> I was like, girl. All these cards are oily. Mm, yum yum yum. <laughs> okay, so Shane saw lungs in the trees. What do you mm -hmm. see? Um. Yeah, I see like a splitting. I don't know. Open. Ooh, maybe it's the splitting of your past self moving into your uh, <gasps> That's right. future self. That's that right. white, that white guy. He's getting out of <laughs> that here. That white guy's gonna. It's more of the porcupine. Yes. Okay, this you're actually gonna love this. So this is two of air. Air is again intellectual. Your mind. Mm -hmm. It's kind of amazing that it's connected to the first card. I just um, want to point out really quick. That's a. I believe that's a hedgehog. Oh, it's oh, a hedgehog. Oh, why did I say porcupine? Because uh, it looks like it could have spikes on it, but it's okay. He's right. Okay, he's right. He's right. This is a hedgehog. Okay. God, killed it. Love it. 
Okay, so two of air. This is about vulnerability. Oh, Present. <laughs> uh, pay attention. Things mm -hmm. are more than they seem. A brown and prickly chestnut trembles, rolls, and uncurls into a hedgehog. The hedgehog breathes its tiny lungs reflected mm. in the great tree towering above it. Okay, Shane, crushed okay. it. Go off, King. The breath, <laughs> the breath of life moves back and forth between them. Two crows sitting high up in the branches look down with curiosity. I saw the crows. And there's a crow in this one, too? Oh, my God. They, Ooh. too, are breathing with the tree. Everything is connected by the breath of life. Leaves stir gently in the wind that carries, connects, and whispers witch's wisdom. The divine is a breath away. Okay, so you're getting closer to the magic. Openness, connection, trust yourself, trust life. Counsel. Okay, this is perfect for you right now. <laughs> it's time to let go, to trust to allow yourself to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. which I know can be very universal, but to be honest, I feel like it's so connected and it's air as well, which is, this is about your intellect. Mm -hmm. um, breathe and the trees breathe with you, exchanging the breath of life with you. Breathe and be aware that you are always nurtured by the world to which you are connected. It's time to open to the safety of ever-present divine love. All you need to do is breathe it in. So work less in your mind. Yep. And just take it in and breathe in what is. Mm -hmm. Don't try to make up what's going on. Yes. We should figure out what what a hedgehog, like, <laughs> how a hedgehog is connected to Jackie. You know? <laughs> well, the lungs, you know, the lungs are, but yeah. what, the hedgehog, like, I don't know much about hedgehogs. I don't know much about hedgehogs. Shane? It, they're just really cute, so maybe that's how it's connected. But they can be spiky. But, they can oh, be spiky. But they roll around. But, well, yeah, they roll around, and um, I don't know, and they, they can be blue and very fast. They can be blue? Well, Sonic. Oh. Uh, Get the f out What if it was here. just Sonic on the card? <laughs> yeah. Wait, just what if it was Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> what the so frick? So you could, you could literally, so basically your present is Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty sick, dude. That's <laughs> I was, honestly oh, the Oh, I was going to make thing. such a bad reference. I said, got a blast. I'm like, girl, that's Jimmy Neutron. That is. <laughs> as Sonic the Hedgehog once said, yes, got, got a blast. blast. But that's good. Breathe in whatever's coming in right you now. And you just went Accept for it. Accept it. Accept it. Don't fight it. I love it. Okay, so that's your – so you're kind of moving away from the intense control and thoughts and, mm -hmm. like, so many things going on at once. I mean, look at this dude. He's got, like, 100 inventions going yeah, on. Yeah, literally. Is that a crow there? It's a crow yeah. there. Yeah, so none of your cards had crows. No, I had zero crows. But we've got – Mine are watery. We've got multiple crows already. <laughs> I got three crows so we far. We are actively counting Dang, crows. Dang, maybe, maybe – maybe a crow make mean? Crows? You can make friends with crows. Okay. Crows, you can, like, bring shiny things to crows. I did start watching Demon Slayer recently. Okay. So crows, those crows, they be bringing messages. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe wow. The How far are you into Demon Slayer? Uh, about uh, seven episodes in. Wow. Way to go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Get out of your head. Stop thinking and watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. Future card. Okay. Future card. <laughs> You think, get out of your head and watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> watch oh. more Demon Slayer. And that's the only thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh wow. What the hell? <laughs> okay, another air, air card. card. All right. Seven of air. So Jackie got all air cards. That's and wild. Is that, it looks like it could be a crow feather. Let me yeah. see. It's a lot of feathers, man. Whoa. Okay, so it's like an open field. Look at the trees. The trees are like, almost look like they're breathing too. It's this a bunch is, of fields. This is very this cohesive. Shit, this is a very look, cohesive it's a, little it, pool I got over here. You have an aesthetic going. Yes. And it's literally all air, which is language, communication, intelligence, intuition, the mind. Mm. So you must be really thinking about the mind. <laughs> okay, so seven of air. Seven. Ooh, okay. So seven is the witch's ladder. A witch's ladder is a spell to make a dream come true. Seven feathers, each from a different bird, also birds, are <laughs> knotted to a cord then tied to a tree branch. Each feather is a charm, free to flutter and spin. Yet all are connected to the earth by an enchanted hag stone tied at the end of each cord. At the end of the cord. Each feather has come to a witch as a sign and a signal and an answer. Ooh, these are your signs. Mm. A witch's ladder gives them all back with gratitude for the guidance given by a wise and loving universe. Okay, your essence for mm -hmm. the future. Clues, signs, insight. Magic is afoot. <laughs> magic is afoot. <laughs> oh, be careful. Huh? Be careful. The magic is afoot. Witch's ladder. <laughs> all right. Here, here's your counsel. 
Messages are arriving from the sacred. Ooh, signs and synchronicities are offering guidance to help you manifest your future. Pay attention. If guidance isn't followed, it's no longer given. See, seven, this is seven. It's a bit of a warning card, but they like, I can tell that this deck isn't that like harsh on that. Yeah. But seven is always a warning card. Mm -hmm. So the, if the universe gives you a sign and you ignore it, the universe will be like, fine, no more yeah, signs. Fine, f off. No I more signs, I freaking gave you a sign. Yeah, done. basically, they, I'm done. They I'm going to go watch you. TV. <laughs> I'm going to go watch Demon Slayer. I'm going to go watch Demon Slayer. I'm the universe. <laughs> if guidance isn't followed, it's no longer given. But offering thanks sets magic in motion. So gratitude keeps it going. A witch's ladder asks and offers simultaneously. Honor the divine laws of nature and magic happens. A witch's ladder asks and offers. Okay, so just, girl, just pay attention and have it gratitude. Magic is afoot. I said I wasn't going to cry, and I won't. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to because it's Smosh Mouth. Oh, what is it? Smosh Cast? I'm so Smosh sorry. Mouth? Oh, sorry. Smosh Mouth. I like that. I like that. That's, that's, that's pretty good. That's actually a really good name, Jackie. Yeah, Did you new, get that from the cards? That's the I new name. I think so. The cards. Okay. Y'all guys, y'all seen The Princess and the Frog? Yeah. Yes. The cards. The cards. The cards. <laughs> guys, um, should mm -hmm. we name? Well, uh, yeah, it's called yeah. Smosh Mouth. Smosh Mouth. Smosh I like Mouth. it. What Smosh do you guys think? Think so, about it. yeah, that's your that's what's going on. Yeah. So, like, basically, your intellect went from like so intensely full yes. to okay, I'm gonna let go and be a little hedgehog and breathe it in. Mm -hmm. To now, it's like there's some signs, girl. Please do not miss it. Yeah. Pay attention. Just say thank you for it. Don't overthink. Yeah. It. Instead of trying to like, mm hmm, um, mm hmm, magic is a foot. Magic is a foot. I love that. Um, yep, I I absolutely uh, identify with these cards. I what my takeaway from this is yeah. like um, I can be in my head a lot. Um, so I guess just in general, trying to like get out of my head a little bit and allow myself to be in the space that I'm in, be thankful for the space I'm in, practice gratitude for the things I'm. Mm -hmm. um, the space that I'm in and allow positive energy to come mm -hmm. in instead of me trying to like think it, think through it all and try to figure it out totally. and, and, and just be open to things. And That's make great. friends with a crow. Yeah, I, 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 yes. I gotta get a bird. What is going on? I, need, I got two make cats, I'm gonna get a bird. alliances <laughs> with the right birds. Yes. That's perfect, Not we're gonna leave that right here. Yeah. No, no, Comoran, guys, how do you say it? Comorants? <laughs> Honestly, right, I was Comoran. like, Amaranth. <laughs> um. Comorants, Amaranth. So, <laughs> okay. So here's my thought. Mm -hmm. These are our cards, but should we throw them back in the deck in case? I don't know what that card I was. Know. This is a card for you because it just fell out. Yeah. Is when it how... falls out the deck, that's some shit. That's another thing. That's that's a very um, specific thing to tarot. If you start to pull, sometimes when I shuffle and a card falls out, that's your card. So this is one of your cards. What if you're just drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Still your card. Look, man, your this card, card fell out. I, I had nothing to do with it, man. Still your card. All right, fine. So, so what one do you card... want it to be? Past, present, or future? What are you feeling? Um, let's make that. Let, screw it. Let's make that the future. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? High stakes. Ooh. High you stakes. Do you want numbers or do you want me to lay it out? Uh, just lay it out. Lay it out for you me. You lay it out so you can touch All the right. cat. Touch the card. Okay. Also, people who pull tarot believe that. If you're pulling for someone, that they should touch the cards. But also, what I do is, if I'm pulling for someone, I have them play a song that they really love. Oh, that's so sweet. And then I pull their cards, or like a song that's been on their mind recently. Yeah. This is I did this very badly. No, no, <laughs> no, no. So it's normally, it's hard to. It's really hard to do it on this like wood. You do it kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. That seems very kind of uh, like, mess it around. Don't lose that. I'm not gonna lose that. Okay. Oh, you touched again. Um. Uh, so I've got all these cards. Spread out everywhere. I made a big old mess. Um, so choose your past my card. Past. Uh, Ooh, oh, I'm so excited. Sorry. I'm Greg. like I'm like filing through it. Like, oh God, where's my past? Oh God. Oh God. Uh, all right. This this card is my past. Love it. Um, so we'll go left to right. Yes. Okay. So now you just need your present card. Um, <laughs> you know what? This this <laughs> this almost fell. Uh, let's see. If you can't uh, see this, all the cards are on one another. Just. <laughs> I'm. But I love it. This is scary. Good. <laughs> There's a lot of cards all around here. It's like 52 card. Pick Nothing's up. like standing out to me That's quite okay. yet. Um, just vibe, I'll just my pick guy. one. I'm picking one. Okay. All right. Middle. So middle. Middle. Mm -hmm. Holler. Okay. Okay. So okay, you can leave them. Here's this mess right here. <laughs> I love the way you work. I love the way you work. Yeah, I hope just it's pat all it down. fire. I hope it's so, all fire. So, so, okay. Here, I'll put them all in the middle there. Perfect. Okay. So, 
Yeah. All right. So I'm your gap. first card. This is past, right? Is your past. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the skeptic. You got the dumbass card. <laughs> no, there is no card in there that says dumbass. I promise you. It just it's just fully pilgrim. the chosen. Yeah. It's just like, this is you in middle school? I'm like, yeah, it was. That would be insane if you chose. I have a movie deck that we, I could bring one time. <gasps> really? Movie, yeah, movie You're stars. You're past John Cusack. <laughs> that okay. would be sick. All right. Let me see. Okay, so did you, did you say, not just I say fire? fire. <laughs> All right, so I want to establish. Sound I am, guy. I'm so sorry. I, Woo! Jackie is standing Woo! up. Jackie's standing up, out of frame. Yeah, she's screaming. freaking out. Uh, oh, she did say that you were gonna pull a fire card. She said all fire cards, so we'll oh, oh, still see. Don't take but... this away from me, Shane. All right, Shane, tell three, me what you feel and what you're looking three at. Three of fire. Okay, so the three of fire. It looks like it's a swamp, or like a. It looks like it looks like a bog, or like you know just a wetlands. Um, yep. But there's some flames guiding the way, mm. but otherwise it looks very Ooh. dark and foggy. Yes, so the path is like it's like lit, but you know you're gonna have to get wet. It's it's not gonna the there's not like a clear path mm. beyond these lakes. Lights that are kind of like scattered about. So it's yes, not like here's I this line. That. It's like, oh, you kinda have to follow that candlelight way over there. And yeah. Uh and there's even yeah, some of them are so faint that you don't see them, but cause like you can clearly see like three mm. flames, but there's another one that I see uh like kind of by this log right there. And there's some flowers on the there's side. There's some flowers. Uh looks like are those definitely lotuses? swampy. Um and uh yeah. Um the trees, there's no leaves on the trees. They all look kind of or no, there's some tiny leaves. Uh I love but that. But it's very green. Yeah. But it's still very dark. It's still and, dark. And, and it's three. It's three of fire. So it's like the beginning. So right, this is a oh. minor arcana. It's your past. And remember, it goes from ace to ten. So ace is technically like their one. So three is like a beginning of whatever this journey is. So this is your past. Three of fire, lights in the darkness. That's what this card is about. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I've, yeah. followed, I've always followed the light, the there's, darkness. There's chosen. <laughs> there's chosen. Okay. Mirrored in gloom, the swamp is dark and dangerous. Three willow the wisps. I don't know what that Will is. Will of the Wisps are, are kind of like a, are, they're kind of like a spirit, like a ghost type of situation. Okay. Glistening in the water, do they light the way through the shadowy unknown or lure the unwary traveler into a treacherous bog? Do you trust the pixie lights to guide you? In old tales, being <laughs> pixie led is often considered a bad thing, but not by those who have followed and returned changed. Okay, <laughs> so the, your essence is uncertainty, intuition, faith, guidance. So just getting from that is like, do you follow the lights? Well, some of them say don't follow those pixie led lights because it's dangerous, but not the people who come back and feel changed. Interesting. Here's your counsel. In the face of the unknown, you may feel anxious and afraid, but is a safe passage what you actually need? This is your moment to let the pixie lights. Look, I love. Jackie's just over here like. This is why I love reading with Jackie because Jackie's like, oh, oh, go off, go out, girl, go off, girl. Read him. <laughs> but is a safe pas passage what you actually need? This is your moment to let the pixie lights lead you from the well-worn path into the wilderness. It's in the dark wood where the straight way is lost that we find ourselves. It's scary and exciting, but fear is only excitement that hasn't received permission. <gasps> Whoa, Ooh. I like that. Let yourself be guided. Like so that. fear is only excitement that hasn't received permission. That's actually I love sick. That. No, I love that. The way this book is written is unbelievable. And the 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 art is amazing. Ooh, okay. So maybe in your past you had fear about like Going down scary path. I mean, we all. I mean, have I was fear. afraid of everything. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I was afraid of absolutely everything. Yeah. Uh, un I mean, uncertainty is certainly a good explana uh, explanation of my life. I feel like I'm constantly like, how the f <laughs> am I here? Uh, you know, um, I, I've, I've throughout most of my life, I've, I've hit periods where I'm like, oh, this is all gonna crumble and I'm gonna be screwed. <gasps> and then it keeps, I keep being like, I don't know what the, f what the hell. Yes. But I keep getting by. 
uh, which yes. is wild. Um, let let yourself eyes, be that's guided. That's why my eyes are so big. I'm like, <gasps> let yourself be guided. That's like um, this one. But that's cool. I like, uh, you know, I'm also someone that fear can very much dictate me uh, in bad ways, in ways that I feel trapped. And I'm like, oh, I hate that I let my fears take over. And so you I, don't like the pixie lead. Well, it, but, 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 but I, I remember having like kind of a thought a few years ago of like, oh, and I'm talking about existential fears, not like afraid of, you know, like, you know, you Spiders. know what I mean? Like I'm not fr- I'm afraid yeah. of snakes, but like, uh, but whenever I feel a fear, that's when I know I have to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, oh, I have to. That means oh, I have to go mm-hmm. through That's it. what has gotten you through then. Mm-hmm. Um, your permission. You're giving yourself permission. I don't always permission. do it, but it's kind of like the, of like, okay, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this anxiety. It's more of an anxiety type of fear. Right. Like I got to push through and I just got to go do it. That means I got to do it. And whenever I do, it's a very freeing feeling and it feels very good to, so to push So you've already, past that. yeah, you've already been giving yourself that permission. Yeah. So that your fear is like an excitement. No, the image feels very reminiscent uh, of my life. That's but so cool. But in a, in, a, in a very dramatic way. Oh, it's yeah. very dramatic. My it's life a swamp. has been very stupid and silly, but. <laughs> it's swamp. It's, you know. You're the turtle who's like, my, look at my that life, fire, bro. The swamp. <laughs> All right. Okay, great. So let's pull your present card. Okay. <laughs> Breathe before. But it's it's tense in here. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Tell me it's a fire card. That's Ooh. chosen. Now this is chosen. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That is a chosen. That is chosen. <laughs> there's there's a it's a two wolf moon. Okay. Not a three wolf moon. That is a oh. major arcana. And let me tell you how connected that is to the three of fire. I'm geeked. This is because cool. Because I don't even need to look it up. I'm going to, but. That's a major arcana. The moon is all about the battle between the domesticated dog inside us all and the wild wolf also Ooh. inside us all. Yes. That is the most chosen card I've ever seen in my yes. life. Constantly <laughs> battling. So it's it's a, a war, it's a moon. Uh, two wolves do battle. It's a within. crescent moon <laughs> and two a dog with a collar and a domesticated wolf also in what what looks like a swamp but it's like a lake and then there's a bunch of otters which represent that. the uncon- like the subconscious yeah. cuz the old deck has like a lobster coming out so it's about dreams it's about the moon dude. <laughs> and this is a major life theme for you. Okay. I need okay. To stop screaming. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I love it. <laughs> I mean, Greg doesn't love it, but I love it. <laughs> okay, this is a really cool card. So okay. remember, there's like a full um, description in this book, uh, The Witch's Wisdom, but I'm just for time going to read the essence and the council. So essence, mystery, wildness, physical instinct, liberated feminine power. Okay. Okay. So what I do know is that this is about the domesticated dog and the wild wolf inside of us all and it's it's about following the wild so when the moon appears and the wild calls what will you choose the (laughs) sorry (laughs) the illusory how do you say this um illusory okay the illusory safety of your city tower the sanctuary of a witch's cottage with its tiny light shining in the forest you can't pretend that's wildness Howl at the moon, race with the wolves, swim with the otters, fly with owls. Look back into the far distance and see the light from your cottage window. Feel a pang of sorrow for all that you have let go. Then turn to the moon, the moon above and feel a shiver of delight as you hear the answering howl of your companions. Watch the moon follow its rhythm in the sky. See how it pulls the tides below. Feel that pull within you. Feel the moon in your body, in your heart, in your mind. When you choose to return to your cottage and community, you'll return changed. Whoa. You'll return changed. Free, whole, and wholly blessed by the moon. Okay, that's f***ed up because the three of fire literally says if you give yourself the permission to follow your fear and you go on the pixie-led fire path, you will return changed. And this literally says... When you choose to return your cottage and community, you'll return changed, free, whole, and holy. So I got a three followed by a four. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. That's pretty cool. So basically, follow the wild. Okay. Do the thing that scares you. Give yourself permission to your fear. <sighs> All right, I'm going to Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, we lost Shane and Burning Man. What is he pulling? He's just following the wolf, man. He's He's following following his wolf. wolf. (laughs) He just howls. It's a bunch of TikTok videos of Shane in the distance. (laughs) 
<laughs> all these fans have pictures and videos of Shane just howling in the distance. Amanda's like, Fuck, I should have never told him to follow Never the pull tarot for Shane. Oh, I'm about to be like, hey, Shane, you want to do this? No, I think I'm okay. Bro, follow the wolf. Come on. Dude, you need to follow the wolf. Bro, follow the wolf. <laughs> Remember Let's to get follow Korean the barbecue. wolf. <laughs> okay, I'm actually Korean psyched. Korean barbecue for the wolf. For the wolf. I'm psyched to see your uh, future card that All chosen. Right. All right, you pull it over. So this is his last card, his future this card. This is the card that fell out of the deck while you were shopping. Oh, I can't this deal with this. This is the card that this fell out of the deck. This is, this is so stressful. And it's a public bathroom. Uh, <laughs> follow, you follow the wild. Follow the wolf to the public bathroom. Okay, here we go. Okay. 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 Mm. Whoa. Oh my God. Messenger of water. Oh my God. Okay. It's definitely a mermaid. Yeah. Merman. I mean, you don't see. It could be a merman. Mer you, don't see the, you don't see the bottom half of that person. And so. is that like a, a seal? That looks like a seal to me or a sea lion, whatever. Um, Ooh, maybe this is like uh, your sign. This is what the wild is. So, messenger is of water a, is a minor arcana. Is that five? I don't know what this is. No, no it's number. it's it's part of like the court. So the old deck has court cards, which are knight, which are page, knight, queen, and king. Mm -hmm. So this is technically a court card, mm -hmm. but they use um, messenger, witch, craftsman, and goddess Ooh. instead. <laughs> oh it, yeah, she is like a, a mer person because she has webbed hands. Or he. Or he. They. Uh, yeah. They are a um, mer person. So messenger of water. Messenger of water. Oh uh, gosh, it feels like you have tons of water going on. P.S. Yeah, and it kind of gets so it starts off with like this like swamp, then it goes to a lake, then it goes to the ocean. You're deep. Oh my god! So it goes to you're following the path over the swamp, then it goes to like you're on top of a ledge over, and now you're swimming in it. Now I'm fully in it, dude. dude. I'm fully. I'm fully with the wolf. Dude, he called a sea lion, dude. He called to the wild, and we've lost him he swimming. Sorry, dude. I'm the messenger of water now. <laughs> Okay, this is the messenger of water. Water carries the stories of everything that has ever been and ever will be. Ooh. It, Wait, sorry, repeat that. Water carries the stories of everything that has ever been and will ever be. Okay. It carries the legends of the Selkie, a seal who swims forth with the cold where the mystery dwells to drop its skin and take human form. Jesus. Okay, so the Selkie. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Those Christ. who live by the sea say that the deep within the waters where the kelp forest grows thick and green, seals and selkies swim together. So this is a selkie. Okay. And with them swims a young girl with long red hair and webbing between her fingers and toes. Okay, oh. no, she's a young girl. Okay. Ooh. Okay. They say she is the child of a selkie and a human who shapeshifts as she moves between the worlds, Mermaid. knowing all worlds are one and all living things have their magic. The essence is messages inspiration, gentleness, innocence, oh. movement between the worlds. Here's your counsel. There are messages waiting for you. To find them, listen to your heart, reread your favorite stories. Words have the magic to open doors to other realms and other ways of being. Allow yourself to be transported, enchanted, inspired. You are the author of your own story and it's hero, uh, heroine or hero. Hero. So you are the author to your own story. Dive in. Enjoy it. It doesn't seem like a big burden. It seems like something light and gentle and innocent. And you are just, now that you've accepted and called to the wild, <laughs> you've now are just allowed to freely be in this place of excitement. Interesting. You are the hero of your own story in this last one. Interesting. How do you feel, Chosen? <laughs> Jackie, how do you feel? <laughs> Jackie's just like... <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god! I I will say, the um, it is it is cool to see how aesthetically cohesive all three of ours it is. are. It's very. Uh, you know, I can only describe it to you, but you know, mine is very green, uh, and it does have a lot of water. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's this kind of. I mean, it is cool. Like, yeah, you start off with a swamp, you get to a lake, you, then you go to the ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does feel like a very internal. Yeah, uh, journey. psychological journey. Mm -hmm. Very full circle too. Yeah, yeah. No, that's very. It's very meaningful, and I think it's. It gives me a lot to uh, to meditate on. I don't know why I'm so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love I'm it. So emotional. I love it because you know Shane was saying that he's a bit of a skeptic, but to be honest, that's what that's what's great about tarot to me is that 
All it's doing is highlighting something that was a thought in your mind that you maybe didn't recognize yet or realize. Sure. It's pretty sick. Yeah, no, I think this is very, um, this gives me a lot to think about. uh, The visual of it helps. Visual. You know? um, And the words, too. I am a believer in, like, needing visual things. Like, if you're overthinking on something, to write it down or whatever so that you can see it. Um, But, yeah, I think this is really cool. And I, 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 look, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that I... These are things that we're talking about that I've known forever. Of like, oh yeah, I, I let my anxiety get to me. Like, sure, mm-hmm. I've known that, but uh, but it is cool to see this, and it is, it's, it's, yeah, it's more very messages. Yeah, it's very reminiscent, and uh, I, 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 I love I like that. It. So Shane's is "Call to the Wild." Jackie's is <laughs> "Get the f- out of your head, girl," and just be thankful you're <laughs> hell <alive>. yes. <laughs> and mine is like. Change is coming. Change is coming. Yes. You're going to get snatched up. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys so much. That was tarot reading. Yeah, this which was is really so, cool. It's so cool. Thank it's you just for like, doing this. Thank, thank you for sharing you. this. I love doing it. And the Witch's Wisdom is the tarot deck that I use right now. We'll probably link their Instagram if you want to check them out. They're amazing. And it's also like a good thing to pull with friends, I would mm-hmm. say, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and thank you, Jackie, for being here. Thanks, um, Jackie. Thanks for having me. This is very cool. Our hype girl. Oh, uh, honestly, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm in between two of the most talented individuals right now. <laughs> and I just feel very privileged to be here. Um, I love it. And, okay, also too on on your card specific. Sorry, I know we're wrapping up on your card specifically, Shane. I just feel like. I I I I love telling you how great you are, and I'm like, Jane, you could like, Urgh. so it's just like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, follow the wolf, you follow the wolf. call of the wild. Call wild. I from, love from that. From here on out, I will be following yeah. the wolf. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, well, thank you guys for joining us. This is Smoshcast. I'm Amanda Lee Hancanto. and I'm Shane Top, and this is Smosh Mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is Jackie. And this hey. is Jackie. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.